Okay, so in March of 2022, Christy and our friend Katie Walsh reviewed Everything Everywhere All at Once, and they were kind of mezzo-mezzo on it. And then I saw it and loved it, and I insisted that we do another review so that I could talk about how I thought it was so great. And then it went on to win the Academy Award for Best Picture and Best Director and Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress and Best Supporting Actor and Best Screenplay. And uh, Christy has decided to give it another shot. I did. So I wanted to for a while. So many of you guys had asked, like, Christy, have you watched it again? And I hadn't had the chance to. But I'm doing a podcast later on this week, the Ruthless Compassion podcast. It's the psychologist who loves movies. And so she's having me on to talk about a, a, a movie that was about compassion and how mm. transformative that can be. And I thought immediately, well, we got to do everything everywhere all at once because it at its core, that's what it's about. It's Absolutely. about understanding and forgiveness. And uh, underneath, like the butt plugs and the googly eyes, that's <laughs> you know, it's a very heartwarming and really affirming message. So Nick and Chris hadn't seen it, and oh. I wanted to show it to them for a while too. And after it won all these awards, so yeah, I went back and we watched it, and and I did like it better this time, and I did appreciate things more this time. I'm another version of from another universe. I'm here because we need your help. Very busy today. Uh, no time to help you. You know, you can totally see all over again why it won the editing Oscar. Because so much of what is so crucial about the way it is edited is like, you've got to be able to follow which verse she's in, mm -hmm. right? And especially when it's like, bam, 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 bam. But also just when it, those really cool match cuts of being like in one place and then another and like one hand motion like brings her from one world to another. So... I appreciate it all over again. Just what a weird movie this is. What an incredibly well-made movie this is, but how daring it is from a narrative perspective. And um, just the chances that it takes, you know, the fact that it is this heartwarming tale of, of a mother and daughter coming to understand one another, but it's got like, a bunch of stuff in the in the BDSM room, which <laughs> thankfully my kid did not ask any questions about. <laughs> you know, at first like, he didn't know what the butt plug thing was. Like once <laughs> once somebody came and like sat down on it, like you know, he began to understand. But just seeing it, thankfully, we have not had to have a talk about like ball gags and whips yet. Um, thankfully, so, every parent gets there eventually, Christy. Right? It's just not our time. I don't want to rush these things. So. Um, you know, I love the costume design. I love everything that Stephanie Hsu wears. And mm. like, that was really fun to, to watch her performance. I really appreciated her a lot more here than I did the first time around. And the range that she has to show just as much as Michelle Yeoh does. I mean, she sure. was nominated for the Academy Award. Um, and her time will come, you know, she's, she's young yes. and that's going to happen someday. I actually don't think Jamie Lee Curtis is one of the best parts of this. I mean, she's very good and it's always a joy to see her. But when you look at like the showiness and the range of what like Stephanie Shu gets to do, what Ki Huey Kwan gets to do, yeah. like she's I don't doing think she's like the what, two link. versions max of that character, right? As and they're not the, even that different. Not really, I mean, no. When she's I guess got the, three, hot dog the hot dog fingers. fingers. Yeah, the hot dog <laughs> fingers when she's like in love with with Evelyn, like right. that's I guess a softer version of her, but it's still her. I don't know. So yeah. not do in any way diminish the greatness of Jamie Lee no. Curtis. I'm so happy she has her Oscar finally, but like of that whole ensemble. I I'm agree. Not sure that's she's, she's terrific, but degree of difficulty is probably less than other her co-stars. Yeah. So I, I really appreciate it from like the narrative daring, the editing, just the, the tiniest minutiae in the production design of this movie, just all the clutter in mm. the apartment, like yeah. every receipt, the, the, the way that like the bagel motif comes in early. Like if mm. you look at the way something is circled on a receipt or even like the way that someone will catch their reflection, like in a round side mirror. So mm. like there's such continuity throughout yeah. in the smallest ways it's it's a big bold brash movie but in tiny ways too i appreciate the way that they bring it all through um yeah just uh all the stuff with jenny slade is cute with her dog and yeah i i'm glad i watched it again i appreciate it so much 
But having said that, that last scene in the parking lot goes on way too long. That last hmm. conversation just really drags. It's a, it's a sort of baffling contrast with how precise the editing is and how propulsive it is the whole way through. Of course, it has to slow down for them to come to this understanding of each other, but that scene just keeps going and going and going, and I feel like that could have been tighter there at the end. And I think that's probably one of the reservations I had about when I saw it the first time as well. I haven't gone back and rewatched our original review, but looking at it again, and Nick thought this huh. too, like, okay, that's all right. We can wrap this up now. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll have to revisit that because I don't. I've seen the movie twice, but it's been a, a year now, so uh, I, I don't recall that being an issue. But uh, I'll take a look. Yeah, I'm glad I saw it again. And I, again, oh, I'm good. so happy that this bizarre movie has um, won so many awards and it kept art houses afloat all spring yeah. and into the summer. And that was really exciting. The fact that it it really spoke to so many people is really exciting. And uh, so I'm glad that it exists in the world. And I was I was really moved this time by the whole thing with the rocks. Like the fact yeah. that they achieved the most emotion of everything in a, a couple of scenes that are just silent with two rocks with subtitles, mm. I think is, it speaks to the, the ground, the groundwork they've laid and just the, the way they're willing to like leap off of that and try something really cool and new. So I'm glad I saw it again. So thanks to all of you for encouraging me <laughs> to rewatch it. Um, if you have rewatched it since the Oscars, let me know what you guys think. If I'm wrong, if you enjoyed it more, <laughs> saw something different this time you didn't see before, let us know.